Good to have you back with us on the cafe. New Zealand journalist David Farrier discovers competitive endurance tickling videos online. Immediately curious, he begins to investigate. Fit young men from all over the planet are being flown to Los Angeles to compete. Each is tied down to a bed while the others take turns tickling them. I know it sounds confusing, doesn't it? And a little bit strange. Farrier contacts the organisers to try and set up an interview about this bizarre sport. And this is when things start to get a little ugly, but it makes for a very interesting documentary called Tickled, which is out now. And we welcome the directors, David Farrier and Dylan Reeve. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Really love to have you in here. Now, I was going to ask you, um, I mean, it sounds fun, this documentary. It is anything but, really. Mm. Um, it was not what I expected. I was going to ask you how it all started, but I think covered it off in the, in the intro. They're very nicely, actually. So let's start with when did you first notice things were getting weird with this? Yeah, I mean, pretty quickly. I mean, I, I was trying to find a wacky story to do for the late night news, and so I came across this tickling competition. And immediately it was strange because, you know, there were these fit young men in Adidas gear in a photography studio. One of them would be tied down and the others would be tickling them like a sport. <laughs> and But it seemed weird, like the videos looked strange. And when I reached out to this company um, to do an interview, because I thought this is the best sport of all time. Yeah, you thought you'd reached wacky story, actual Oh, I actual thought this is mine. ideal. Great story, right? Yeah. yeah. Flying, being paid cash, and all for tickling. Right. Yeah. yeah. But then I reached out to the organisers, and immediately they were on. They were like, no, you are not going to do a story about this. Then they got a lawyer in New York, a lawyer in Auckland. They were writing us letters saying, don't poke around into the story. And so, of course, Dylan and I but both thought, let's poke around. What happened, their first response was, though, we don't want a gay journalist talking about this. Right. We want nothing to do with homosexuality. Which kind of is weird when, I look, when, when you describe the videos. It's yeah. like, well, something I might see. They're a bit right gay. Yeah. Like, the videos are a bit gay. Yeah, like, yeah. it's hot dudes tickling each other, That's right? right. Yeah. And so yeah. suddenly this company had a problem with that. And then it was like, what's going on? And so I started blogging about it, and Dylan started blogging about it. Because I saw that response, and it doesn't fit. Right, so you know the response doesn't fit what you're seeing, and you're like, well, what's really happening? Yeah, yeah and then and they so actually sent guys over to to see you, didn't they, and try to deter you from doing this? Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of legal threats, and then suddenly they said we're flying three men from New York to Auckland, uh, first class, and they're going to basically mediate with you and just sort of explain why there's no story. So again, yeah. I think Dylan and I both were like, okay, there's definitely yeah. a story, <laughs> something yeah. going on. Yeah, and that's when we picked up cameras and sort of started filming things, and then we ended up going on this road trip around America. Just trying to find out what was going on. And I mean, you've seen the film, it gets yeah. pretty strange. Very dark, very dark. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, for those that don't know what we're talking about, if you haven't sort of got the gist, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the trailer right now. A dude in New Zealand, a reporter, like happened across this Facebook page. Some sort of organized sport yeah. of tickling. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, tickling. I mean, you know, it seems so innocent. You know, when mm. Dylan and I both started thinking, like, let's make a film, it was, you know, it was this crazy sport. And but very quickly, it became much, much darker. And you've had incredible success with it already. It's out in New Zealand now. When did you know, Dylan, that you had something that was special? I think, I mean, once we, we went and did a, sh a shoot funded by Kickstarter, we went and sort of started chasing it down. And as we got into that, as soon as we got on the ground, it was crazy, and, and we, we realised as we were going around that, that the story was bigger than we thought, and we were quickly running out of time and money, and so we, we sort of came back and we went, oh my God, it's huge, it's not what we thought it was, it's even bigger, and we've got no money left, and so we, we went to the film commission and said, we've got this really great thing, and amazingly they believed us, nice. and gave us more money and said, okay, now make a really big film, because at that point we were thinking, you know, internet download, but they were like, no, no, think make it 40 foot. Screen and it looks great on a 40 foot screen, too. It's really beautifully shot as well. Yeah, Dom Fryer, our DP, did an amazing job. And like everything happened very organically, like very early on with the Kickstarter, you know, we're looking at the funds, we're trying to reach this goal of $25,000 so we can make this film. And then suddenly the money jumps up a bit, and Stephen Fry's name pops up, and Stephen Fry suddenly backs our Kickstarter, and so suddenly he's on board. Right, I was going to ask you know, how he came neat. on board. That's he cool, just, He just, because I mean, a big part of the story is kind of about online harassment and bullying, because right. we found that a lot of these guys that are in this tickling competition, if they try and bailing from the tickling competition and they don't want to do it anymore, then they're subject to this sort of crazy yeah. online harassment campaign. And so I think Stephen Fry responded to that. It's great having somebody like that involved anyway. I mean, oh. it was it's quite terrifying. It's a, it's a whole web of deceit and lies, and the fact is that you are actually getting lawsuits now, and there's a, a website that's been set up 
basically to discredit the both of you as well. It's been crazy. It's by been this a company. crazy ride, yeah. right? Like in Missouri, uh, I was handed um, two lawsuits. Um, then this website's been set up. Yeah, so it's like it's it's just a, it, like it, it stopped because we, we we went and filmed the thing and and, and we kind of we caught some people on camera and then we went quiet while we finished the film and when we went quiet nothing more happened and and then the film came out and when the film came out obviously they they went oh they haven't forgotten about us and yeah. so you know things have ramped up again. Oh, and speaking of wrapping up, we have to wrap it there, which is unfortunate because I wanted to ask you what the rules were on competitive tickling. There's um, a lot of them. There's no there's rules. A lot it's of not them. a real sport. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go. I'll <laughs> yeah. just go and see it. But uh, congratulations, guys. Um, yeah. No, thank you. you. I mean, it's just great to have it out here now. Like, I'm excited people can actually go and see this thing we made. I mean, it took us two years. So, mm -hmm. oh, nice. well, it's yeah. beautiful and it's fascinating, and you should be very proud. Tickled, tickled the documentary. You should definitely go and see it.